I'm uh, Luc, uh, working for Ozone as a designer for paragliders. So the XD project is uh, developed for uh, specifically for the XALP 2021. The idea of this project was to uh, make some uh, research in some new material, new lighter material. Uh, so we had to try, we wanted to try the 21 gram from Porsche, which is just uh, about to, to be in production. We also wanted to try a new sort of um, cloth, although it's not a cloth, it's a laminate uh, product that is extremely light at about 13 uh, gram per square meter. We had uh, just enough of this material to build four wings and uh, we had four pilots for these wings that are in Excel at the moment. And currently I am uh, following and uh, trying to help from my computer uh, Benoit Outers, which is uh, today in a little difficult situation. So cross finger that he can take off in a few seconds. The wind is strong and the takeoff is not ideal. The, the material, uh, maybe I have a sample somewhere. Here. You see some sample. So that's uh, some test we're doing over oh, here. So it's basically a sandwich of two layers of PU, polyurethane, that glued uh, inside a tiny, tiny piece of uh, Dynema fiber. Because Dynema is the uh, lightest, uh, very strong uh, uh, fiber you can find on the market. It makes this uh, product very light. This class is used uh, mostly in outdoor equipment, outdoor equipment, uh, like tent, very light tents. And there are several uh, range of uh, of weight for it. This is one of the lightest. So it it looks like shit. It looks like nothing, but it's very stiff and uh, very solid. Yeah, dimension is stable, uh, it's Dynema, so it needs to be, uh, needs to be stood out how to handle it. Because Dynema is, uh, we know fiber, Dynema fiber in, in lines and its tendency to, to shrink. Mm -hmm. That's something which needs to be approached as well. So we had to test uh, several mechanical aspects. Uh, like the rubbing, of course the, the chewing strands, but also the, the assembly. The, the most critical part is the assembly, uh, the stitching. And the difficulty is also that we want to keep it light. If we use too much glue, glue is very heavy compared to stitching. So uh, we need to find a something working and that's uh, made us uh, searching for a few months. We, we made uh, some kind of simile age in, uh, in the office with some machine we've done but uh, the XALP is uh, the first real benchmark. Oh, while I'm talking, uh, Benoit is... Benoit's takeoff. This is very stressful, this XALP. Consume me... Uh, <laughs> 15 hours a day <laughs> to follow the guys, but it's also uh, an incredible race, really. So that's why we are also very keen to to try new uh, new equipment for for this race. It's a beautiful race. Yeah, yeah. It, it makes a drive for all of us manufacturers to to push the the sport uh, in the light direction, but also the performance combination of flight and performance, which is uh, very good, I think. It will not be available uh, after the XR for sure, it needs uh, more testing. We, we don't want to release a, a product uh, straight away without having several prototypes uh, flying a real like 200, 500 hours 
and check uh, how it's aging. That's, that's the way we do. Mm -hmm. We tend to try to keep uh, our development uh, on inside, uh, but this time also we were so unsure anyway, it was pointless to communicate for sure. Uh, because this is so new, we were unsure to, to even to pass the, the certification. The load test is something uh, really hard for the wing. Uh, shock test, also even more. The, the, the timing was, was short. So we had to, uh, to do a plan A and plan B. So we had this, this was plan A, the Cuban, and the plan B was uh, the wall wing in uh, 21 gram which was making still about 200 gram gain on the zeolite. I mean, you've just got the Rush 6 out. How's yeah. that project? So the, the Rush 6 uh, is just out. We just uh, finished uh, the smallest size. According to Russell, which is uh, the most difficult of our test pilots, this is uh, the most beautiful wing ever in terms of handling and feeling. So I'm looking forward to have the, the first feedback from the market. Hybrid 2-3 line uh, brings a bit of line reduction for sure and it's also um, easier to make uh, a nice uh, balance of the spine-wise lift at accelerated flight. And it's also a nicer control of the trimming of the, the wing tip because otherwise in 3 line uh, there's so much uh, small gap between A and B C in the cord. The cord is so small that it's difficult to keep it nice and trim while accelerating. Uh, with the two line, it makes things uh, easier, uh, and the, the lift distribution can be nicer. Two line E and C is a, a big challenge. For sure, that's uh, something uh, manufacturers uh, work on. Because now um, EN uh, certification has evolved and uh, it's allo allowing the, the collapse lines to be used to uh, induce the, the collapse for the test, uh, which allow to try a uh, two liner in the ENC uh, department. But uh, it doesn't mean that it's easy. <laughs> I mean, the ENC wing is a wing that needs to be uh, really forgiving. Um, all the tests needs to, the behavior needs to be really uh, exemplary, and that's that's a big challenge for two liner. And so far, uh, we are uh, working on it, but very slowly. Uh, we have no planned date. Uh, we are still flying happily the, the Enzo 3, which is also recognized by the market as a, a very good uh, compromise between performance and safety. For that too, is uh, is making progress. Uh, Sam is working hard on, on it. And there is also a product that is just released in the harness, which is the Volbiv harness. Nice work from uh, Sam. So it's kind of based from the x harness, but really simplified and uh, more robust without the, the inflatable tail fairing, and uh, it's really nice. I've flown it. Uh, I like this harness. It's, it's a good compromise between uh, lightness and robustness and massive um, storage. So really uh, interesting on this. I think it's about to be released. Okay.